right, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, folks, to the OKD Working Group meeting for January 16th of the year 2024. And take a quick look at the agenda, and we'll uh, I'll drop a link to it in the chat. Please take a look and let us know if there's anything that we're missing. Um, and if there's anything you want to move around, anything you want to move, remove, anything like that. So there's the meeting notes. And I archived last year's meeting notes to dash 2023 so that, you know, as these pages fill up, they get kind of slow to navigate uh, as we get towards the end of the year. So I archived um, last year's meeting notes into a document that's OKD Working Group Meeting Notes dash 2023. And I did the same thing for the Community Development Group as well. All right, any agenda changes or we're good to go? All right, looks like we're good to go. So OKD release and CICD CD updates, Christian, Shireen, Vadim, Luigi, Alex, Jeremy, etc. Go ahead. Yeah, um, so I posted the um, the links on the, our HackMD. Uh, we released OKD 415 and 414. Um, so please, if you have time, go ahead try and deploy it, uh, give us feedback. That's what we want, really. Um, it's okay, the S cost, that is. Um, uh, 416, we have one or two problems with, um, and you know, Christian's not here, but um, he's, he's working on it. There's some um, updates that need to be done on our, um, on our release proud jobs. Um, and then we should be able to get 416. Uh, before well we're hoping before 415 goes ga but i think it'll be maybe more than likely after 415 goes ga but that's it um yeah feedback's welcome thanks sorry jamie you're on mute i'm oh, sorry about that anyone have any questions for luigi any questions or comments on any of that Uh, Luigi, there was something that come up <clears throat> just before Christmas, I think it was, after we stopped. Um, I'm just trying to find the, the actual issue. They were talking about they'd found a fix for the single node installer. I think it was like the agent installer. <clears throat> and they were talking about getting it resolved for the Fedora releases, but there was no mention of the SCOS release and all of that. I'm just wondering, are you? Is there somebody in the loop and all of that? Yes, yes, yes. Andrea Fazano is the guy that's uh, working on the that the agent-based installer. Um, um, yeah. So I think the, the yeah the big issue is the is the SCOS. Um, yep, they are aware of it, um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, he's he's created a. I'll have to get the link of the repo that he's created. Um, his own personal one, and he's created a simple script to get it up and running. Um, I, I tested it locally, but I've had problems, and I think it's it's more problem with me than problem with the, the, the installer. So, um, uh, yeah, I think give it a go. I'll, I'll, I'll get hold of the links and then see if I can post it in there for people just to try to... That is the, the, the FCOS one, though at this point in time. Okay, because yeah, I mean I'm 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 aware that for anybody that doesn't have a large infrastructure, we're not in a good place in terms of getting a a home lab install on any of the platforms with single node installs or anything like that running, because I don't think we have it on Fedora or SCOS at the minute. Yeah, it, it is 1608 is the issue that I saw. So this is it. So there is a there is a a comment on the 13th of December that's been backported to 414 and 415 the workarounds 
to support Asian base installer, but there's no mention of SCOS. So you go to the very, very bottom. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I think what we'll do is, um, I'll, I'll, where can I put the link? In? Should I put it on the, in this document, uh, Jamie? Uh, the yeah, go ahead. The private uh, uh, repo and then people can yeah, start absolutely. Okay. Now, now I, had a question. I, had, I had a question for you, Luigi. Um, is this, is uh, are the SCOS releases, the 414 SCOS release, is this something that we can put on the, the website and social media for get people to test or do you want to wait? Yeah, I, I, I think that, I think amongst ourselves to, to uh, if we have a chance to test um, before we actually release, I think externally. Um, uh, you know, let me, let me, let, I'll, I'll need to chat to, um, Vadim and, and, and Christian. I think Christian gets back from PTO, I think, this week sometime. Um, and, uh, we, you know, we can sort of get, get to the nitty gritty and then um, um, sort of give you feedback from that, if that's okay. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. Just let us know when you think it's ready for a, a wider audience yeah. of testing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, Makes I did sense. see release. Uh, Vadim did mm. an FCOS base released on the 10th, I think it was. So I need to actually put that in our social media and on our website that that's available. Mm. All right, any other questions or comments for what Luigi shared with us? Okay, moving on now then to the FCOS updates. Uh, we don't have Timothy here, I don't think, nope, uh, uh, or Dusty. Um, and uh, I think that also for SCOS uh, OS actual updates, we don't have anyone to provide updates on that. Uh, community development updates. Uh, go ahead, Brian. Okay, so we had our kickoff meeting for the year um, last week. Um, quite a good conversation around um, operators and building out the operator catalog. Um, there was some work done over the, the holiday season where we looked at um, the various options of building the catalog, building the actual bundles, the operator bundles, the operator himself, and potentially the operands. Um, one of the challenges I think we're going to face is testing, which again is why I'm quite keen for some of this installed stuff to get resolved. Um, we're going to need some sort of automated testing, but what we decided to do was push forward <clears throat> and manually go and create um, a sort of a, a skeleton project to actually get an operator catalog up and running um, that you, you you manually add to OKD, put one or two catalogs in, um, get it working, and then we can then refine it, improve it, um, automate it, and then add the test framework around it. So it's a very much a let's get something working and then we can improve it over time rather than let's procrastinate and get every single detail that we can think about resolved before we start doing anything. So it's a, let's just get on and do something. So we are gonna do that. Um, so that was most of the conversation on the last meeting. I'm trying to think of what else we talked about. Um, there is gonna be a calendar, I think. Um, we're gonna get a sort of an annual calendar put up and published. Um, I don't think we put anything else in the in the meeting notes. Yeah, I mean, basically, and for the calendar, we kind of mentioned it before, but the idea is that we will now have like a regular schedule for things related to the community development group and OKD in general. Like, okay, the survey comes out 
second month of the year survey results get processed at this time. We review the the bylaws at this, you know, at this month or whatever. So basically we can get on a regular cycle for administrative stuff for the working group. So. Um, there was one other thing that we did mention at the end of the meeting was Elmico sort of gave us some insights into where the installer is going, how platforms are going to get supported. Um, and there are some changes coming over the next few releases that might make it easier to get platforms like Proxmox um, up and running for the home lab community. Um, and if people want to do other platforms, um, it might make them easier to do that. There is some work already released, but the future releases will make that much, much easier. I think that's it. And what's the word for uh, what's the word for that? Um, Luigi, you knows what's the word for the install that's like not tied to any OS? What's the word they're using now for it? Uh, or not tied to any platform, like uh, platform agnostic install. What, what's the word? Is that not they... the assisted installer? That, that no, but there's another word. Remote. There's a word that they use for if it's if it's just like a generic install. There, is it, there is no, user provided and in, installer provided infrastructure UPI and IPR. No, they moved. That's the thing is they moved away from that and they're using a different nomenclature now. Oh great! I can't oh, remember great. what it is. Yeah, Off must be honest. I I uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, they they're using a new nomenclature and it's it's escaping me at the moment, but um. They're moving away from UPI and IPI to, to a, a word that basically means, or a phrase that basically means everything else not supported directly by the, uh, there we go. All right. Okay. Yeah. External installs. Right. Um, all right. Any other questions or thoughts on stuff coming out of the community development meeting? Lots of good stuff happening in the operator space and, you know, we appreciate uh, you know, the folks that the new members who have been chipping in quite a bit, actually. So and there's going to be a separate channel. Um, I actually started to work on that this morning. So we're requesting a separate channel for OKD development. And the idea is that instead of trying to use the OpenShift channel for timely communication on things related to OKD development, uh, a Slack channel that's like just OKD dev, uh, will allow us to have real-time communication. Uh, Matrix is not really getting used by anybody, quite frankly, so it makes sense to do it in Slack for now. So we'll make sure that everyone um, is aware of that, and we'll put something on the website uh, and in the repo so that folks can can sign on to that. Yeah, Bruce. Uh, yeah, so uh, I had to try it. Uh, uh, using the OKD pipelines project. Uh, and uh, what I found is uh, immediately in adding the resources, it uh, fails because the YAML file refers to a non-existent uh, RBAC directory. Uh, and I didn't have time before the meeting to sort out exactly what it was trying to get out of that. And uh, uh, the uh, I tried the uh, slash kind as well as the slash CICD. Um, the CICD one was interesting because it had a misspelling, you know, RR back, uh, but uh, neither one of them worked. So I was wondering whether or not, uh, you know, uh, Zed and friends uh, have a different repository that they've been playing with. Uh, over So over the um, holiday period, we were playing around in a, a different org because we weren't in the OKD org at the time. So we, we had a... Um, we were in upstream operators as an org, but we're, I think we're planning to put that all back into the main OKD um, uh, org. It's just we, we didn't have access and we were playing over the holiday periods. But there's the, uh, in there, there's OKD orators, which is the brand I'm told is not going to catch on, but I'm still trying. Um, um, and then we've got our operator pipeline and a few other downstream projects in there. Um, Bruce, I haven't done it for a while, but I went and installed it. There is an OpenShift directory within the upstream Tecton, and that worked in OKD. Oh, yeah. No, I've done that uh, numerous times. Yeah, uh, so, but, but it, it has all the UI in there as well. So 
it's pretty very it's pretty similar to what you get from the OpenShift pipelines. Right. And also without, you, without the cluster look, tasks. Yeah, if you look at what right. Tecton is walking you through at the moment, which is new, um they have a walkthrough which also doesn't quite work because of uh, historical changes. Uh, but they have you uh, install uh, Nginx as an ingress and uh, so that you can use port 80 and 443 uh, operating system permitting and then uh, run the uh, Tekton uh, uh, dashboard. Uh, and, and all of that works fine just off of kind. Yeah. Uh, so I was trying to use kind just because that seems to be our baseline pipeline building thing for uh, laptops and whatnot. Uh, and uh, after I poked in a little bit more, I discovered that uh, that uh, project that was we re referred to last week as we should be looking at, it, et cetera, et cetera, uh, was uh, somewhat stale, in fact, uh, with the commits and so on. Uh, but, you know, uh, so that, that sort of explained a lot. And I didn't, I mean, I can go in and try and figure out what they were intending to do and see if I can uh, fix it. But if Sid has done all of that already, it's probably more useful to get all of that stuff integrated together. Yeah, I think I think we were just waiting on the Slack channels to be formed and then we were going to bash heads and get a catalog up um, and just kind of um, get get something alive so people can add it into lab clusters and then we can play with it. Sorry, that's my fault. I meant to get it. So we had a weather event uh, here in the past couple of days for folks that aren't yeah, aware. Right. So things are a little bit crazy, but yes, I will get to that today. All right. Any other questions on community development stuff? Any other thoughts, operators or otherwise? All right, and last thing we have there is uh, agent-based installer stuff. Folks can check that out. Um, and uh, uh, Andres Fasano's uh, GitHub uh, has that mini agent. Mm -hmm. And anything else we want to talk about? We got through our agenda pretty quickly. And uh, I did ping Timothy, and apparently uh, Timothy is not available to for the meeting today, so that we don't get any F class updates. Yeah, Zach, go ahead. Um, just just to flag, cause it, it's been frustrating, as and I think it has been flagged on the OKD tracker, but I don't know if it's worth putting a um, a notice elsewhere about it. It's just the the console bug where it doesn't load dynamic plugins. Um, it's present on four fourteen. There is a an underlying OpenShift bug going on about it, but uh, so like at the moment, our cluster console doesn't work for all the dynamic plugins. So like Cuba, ODF, whatever it is, um, um, unless you have caching totally disabled on the browser, um, it's just a, it's an annoying thing because unless you kind of figure out what's going on, it just shows us all the dynamic plugins have failed. Yeah. Um, and, and so just kind of, I think we need to, uh, try and encourage that to get back ported as soon, as soon as it can. I don't know if anyone else has suffered it, but it's been. Uh, uh, yeah, been a, a source of fun in our in our lab recently. <laughs> okay, I added that to the meeting notes. So anything that we can do to encourage that getting addressed would be fantastic. So, um, the only question I got, um, Luigi, has there any been any work? started about automated testing within the the cluster building the SCO because I don't want to repeat anything that's already well underway in terms of yeah yeah no so um I know Andrea Fasano uh, has been looking at stuff for end-to-end -end testing on the cluster um but no nothing has started um and that's um yeah something that we do want eventually but uh, again, <laughs> you know what it's like. Time is the, the biggest enemy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else? All right. Sounds like we're good. Uh, encourage folks to stay tuned 
uh, for um, the stuff that's coming up for operators and please jump in and help where you can. Uh, I think it's a great initiative for folks to to get involved. And then also when we were talking about supporting other platforms, we're going to want to reach out and see what types of volunteers we can get to test some of these other platforms so that we can get a foothold in them and promote the fact that we can get it running on them. I think that'll be good. And there was discussion, I should point out, there was discussion about the fact that um, that uh, uh, VMware was purchased, which uh, a lot of, there's uncertainty going on, like supposedly there's a plan, I read the blog posts from VMware product managers about where things are going and stuff like that with their suite for like small to mid-sized virtual clusters and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. Like people are having a hard time getting responses from VMware folks the past couple of weeks since the purchase. So um, we might want to start expanding our portfolio and promoting that to, to as folks maybe look for other things. So. And um, just on that one, what is the status of Overt and Rev? I, th there was some sort of confusing messages that maybe with OpenShift virtualization, that wasn't a focus anymore. But I, I, I didn't really follow up on that. But is that an option if people are looking to move off sort of an ESXi? Is that yeah, um, I looked into this actually because I don't have access to an ESXi and I was going to, planning to build a cluster on top of Overt. My understanding is is that the the productization of Overt, which I think is Red Hat virtualization, is is end of life. Um, and so Overt is now only community maintained. I don't think there's much Red Hat activity going on it at the moment. They have released a new version, which I think was like four point five or something. The last I looked. Um, but I don't think it's it's got a history, and I think it's been dropped as a supported platform on OpenShift as well, um, um, because obviously it, um, I think the the preferences you run OpenShift with something like Kubevert. It is. On top it's OpenShift virtualization. OpenShift um, virtualization, open so shift virtualization which does beg yeah. the question: you need the cluster in the first place, but you know <laughs> you can run a cluster in a cluster, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so this does actually open an interesting question. What is the recommended open source, pure open source route for an OK, OK to use that sorry? That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think there, I mean, we run on bare metal. I'm, I, I don't know if there is a, uh, I know you could probably get away with running it on top of OpenShift, so you could do a, a cluster in a cluster, um, but I I don't think there's any easy way of of spinning up on any of the other virtualization platforms which are fully open source. Okay, so so this is a future project that may be of interest to the community, trying yeah. to get some like Proxmox as a mm -hmm. some level of support on it. Okay. All right. Anything else? Great discussion. All right. Well, thanks so much, folks, and we will see you next time. Peace. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye.